Hi, this is The Dairy Neck, and I am here for a, a storing video. Um, if you saw my last unpacking video, uh, you know that I mentioned that I'm going to be kind of breaking, you know, the storing of everything I got uh, in that into several pieces. So, I, because I'm also going to go over my collection, um, what I have, who I collect, and everything in these. Um, as you can maybe kind of guess what's similar with, you know, the pictures on these binders, which are very much a work of progress. Um, these are what I would consider my JYP uh, binders. I'm not a company stan. I just like a lot of JYP groups. <laughs> uh, there's just something about uh, the groups they put together that I just tend to gravitate to. Of course, these are not all my JYP binders because Stray Kids, they do have their own binders. So this is for every all the other groups that uh, don't have theirs. I'm gonna put this one off to the side. Um, my plan is to have them all in red binders like this. I will probably need to replace this because there's like this weird stain that's like inside the pocket and since it's so low, it's kind of hard. Um, I have no idea what it is. I don't think it's anything gross. Um, it looks more like more of a discoloration from something than anything else, but it's inside. So this will eventually be replaced, but it's probably not for a while because I'm still working on like updating uh, binders and, you know, color coding them as is. Um, but yes, let's start with this as we're, like I mentioned, going through collections as well. Um, and we start off with actually some Wonder Girls. Um, of course, Wonder Girls, they, they're they such an early group, they don't really have much in the way of collectible items, um, but they were the first K-pop group I got into uh, via basically their K-pop releases as uh, I've been a huge J-pop fan since basically the late 90s and a lot of the early k-pop groups I got into like uh, DBS PBSK yes I think that's one of theirs I know them mostly by Toho Shiki because that's their Japanese name um, and of course I got through you know became a fan through their Japanese uh, discography uh, same with Kara um, but like I said, with Wonder Girls, it was their Korean discography that I got into. Um, like I said, there's not much collectibles, but they did have like this postcard set. Uh, not sure if I can actually show it off very well. Okay. Ah, uh, the glare. Okay. <laughs> but yes. Uh, this is uh, the other four in the set, and this is for their uh, Wonder World album. They had that postcard, so that is my Wonder Girls. <laughs> if I find anything else um, that I can, you know, put in as a collectible, probably more on the larger side, because I think that's about all they had, because uh, they were before the days of uh, photo cards. Um, I will probably put them in here, but until then, that is what I have, and I'm glad I do have something for them. They're a very special group uh, to me for that. Um, then we move over to the next section, which is, of course, 2 p.m., because through Wonder Girls, I got into 2 p.m. Uh, even, like, it wasn't during their survival show it was shortly after i forget if it was their first or their second uh, release that i got into them because i was definitely a fan when the whole j thing uh controversy kicked off and that was that was a really disappointing thing to kind of live through um as a fan or as a hottest um but yeah so this page is actually their Japanese uh, cards. I don't actually actively collect them, but you know, if I have them, 
you know, I put them on this page. Um, and I'm sorry for the glare. I just, I've not found like the best setup, but um, this is actually one of their earliest, if not their first uh, card, because what these were not exactly trading cards, but they were tickets for events where you can meet them. In fact, uh, the last two uh, kanji here are Chinese characters. I'm pretty sure that is the kanji for tickets. Um, and which is why you'll see some of these and they'll have like a hole punch done. And that little hole punch means that it's being used. So someone actually used that ticket and went to the event. Um, none of these are that. Um, but yeah, that's I'm Your Man. This one's from Hire, and both of these are from the single Promise I'll Be. And yeah, I have a 10 pocket page for them because it is just perfect uh, size for these. Um, but yeah, and that's actually kind of like the start of uh, basically trading cards for JYP groups were these early 2pm ones. Uh, for what I know. Um, then we go on to actual Korean release <laughs> um, trading cards. And they started for 2 p.m. with Gentleman's Game. Um, I don't have the full set because I, when I got into them, I really wasn't big into like collecting, let alone collecting trading cards. So all of this has basically been collected since I got back into K-pop like what was it probably about two years ago I think yeah so I have not had a lot of time in collecting this um, and for 2 p.m. most of it was getting their albums but this is what I have for Gemin's game so far um, I do have a uh, Jun K's uh, both versions. He's probably the only one I will get both versions for because uh, for some members just finding their regular version is hard enough. Um, so yeah, for all the other members I'm just going to try to get their regular version. Um, and then we have this which looks really sad right now. Uh, mainly because 2pm is even though they're probably what I would consider one of my old groups, they're just not high on my priority when it comes to like collecting photo cards. Um, but yes, this is from their latest Korean release, Must, which is their release after everyone came or finished with their military service. And I've ended up, just because of how difficult these cards are to find and let alone at like a reasonable price, uh, that I've decided I'm only getting like three members and wow that glare is really bad. My apologies. Um, and of course John K because if you haven't noticed he's kind of my bias. <laughs> um, and I happen to have uh, photos for Nick Kun and Wu Young. Um, honestly Wu Young is kind of kind of up there anyway when it comes to bias anyway. <laughs> Which I probably sounded kind of like a broken record there. My apologies. Um, but yes. Um, so I decided that I'm just going to collect these three. And yeah, like I said, it's it's not been high on the priority list. Uh, I am trying to collect more of the unit cards because they're a lot easier to collect. Um, so these are the first three. And I'm hoping to fill this uh, other page, which actually will not be all of the unit cards, but it will be the vast majority of them, and I'll be fine with that. Um, then we have this page. This is actually a 12 pocket page um, for the Promise I'll Be album. They have like member versions for each member version. It came with this little sticker. Um, I have the Jun K, Nick Kun, and Take Um and I'm probably butchering their names. I am so sorry. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm collecting those. So I need like the three younger ones now to f complete that. And then we have uh, just a little uh, Junkei uh, 
page because I got his album 20 minutes um, and this is like the pre-order benefits for that these are the two cards I pulled this card um, is from an early live tour um, and I just randomly found it and decided you know what that kind of looks nice I'll go ahead and pick it up because I can so I did <laughs> though it looks really sketch because on the back yeah this is the back complete plain white <laughs> but again it is like it has to be a very early early card of theirs um, Oh, and these are the larger inclusions that came with 20 minutes. Um, so I have those back here. And then I have one final collection where I will actually be adding <laughs> some photo cards to. Uh, and that is my Twice Mina collection. Um, I have a bit of a start to it. Kind of move it to see these top ones. So... Yes, I actually have a pretty good start to like the earlier uh, sets and I'm actually hoping to finish off these uh, early ones really quick. I actually found a listing for this uh, child's card um, for Mina from The Story Begins that I should hopefully be getting or you know putting in the request uh, for, buy, for buying because it'll be a Nyokyo uh, order that I get it with. Um, I wasn't really supposed to have another Nyokyo uh, order so soon, but one of the cards I got from the last one, it just took so long. Um, I ended up just leaving it off and getting my last batch of uh, goodies for that Nyokyo, which if you watched my last uh, unboxing video you saw. So I decided that I'll just make like a really small, um, well relatively small <laughs> Nyokyo uh, uh, order and I'm hoping to have that one, that card, a part of it. Um, and I'm also hoping to get this. I I keep seeing a couple listings on Instagram, so we'll see whether or not you know any of that goes through and I can get it. All right, next page <laughs> does not look nearly as nice. Um, I at least have one of the Twice Coaster Lane two um, photo cards, so I'm pretty happy with that. I don't have anything for Signal and. Just because I am not really dividing releases by page by page, uh, I have these little placeholders. So when I get what I would consider the first card of a set, I will replace them with that card, kind of like what I've done with a Twice Coaster Lane 2 uh, here with the yellow card. Um, so yes, right now I have nothing for Signal. Uh, oh, wait, I lied. I have one of the pre-order benefits <laughs> for uh, Signal, and that is all I have. Um, yeah, so don't have too much for a lot of these earlier ones. Ah, finally. Finally, I can add something. And that is the start of What is Love. I also have this one. Ah, I'm happy. That page is looking kind of nice. And I don't have anything for this, though I at least have the pre-order benefits for what is love. That is basically all I have for Summer Nights, except for now this card. So, yay. Small progress, but I'm not really focusing on these releases anyway, so... No big surprise, I don't have much. Uh, yes or yes. Don't have many of the Allen cards. This is basically <laughs> where most of my yes or yes goes. Uh, year of yes, like everyone, I'm just going to have to struggle through with collecting. I at least have one of the Allen cards. 
and one of the pre-order cards. I should be getting, I should probably see about getting these other pre-order cards. That's like the only year of ES cards that are easy to get. Um, and of course we start with a fancy here as well, where don't have much, uh, feel special. Another collection I just don't have much for, but again, have not been focusing on these older collections. Um, and also, I haven't actually even started collecting twice until their latest release, Formula of Love. It was probably a month after that release where I finally gave in because I had been thinking since Taste of Love that I wanted to collect a member of twice. Um, and it, I kept toying with the idea, going back and forth. And then finally, a little after Formula of Love, I realized, you know what, I've decided, I finally figured out who like my favorite member is, which is Mina. Um, so I will go ahead and collect. So this has basically been the growth of my collection since then. So not even a year in. Um, oh, and Eyes Wide Open is the album I am currently focusing on. Um, though I will be buying like random cards from other sets. Um, like I mentioned, those first two albums, I just kind of want to finish because I'm only one card off. Uh, so they're not really should be my focus. <laughs> Eyes Wide Open should be. Um, but I am making some progress. So I got these two cards. And I do have one already that is in oh it's in the warehouse at Neo Kyo so it'll definitely be in my next uh, haul video uh, when I get that Neo Kyo order um, and that is actually all I have for Bina because the reason I'm focusing on Eyes Wide Open is because I have all of Taste of Love and formula of love well except for like the limited edition cards because i'm just not bothering with limited editions for twice maybe once i've actually you know caught up with a collection i might go back but for now it's just gonna be those pre-order you know the pre-order uh, benefit cards or you know these ones that just come from uh, JYP um, those bring you order benefit ones and uh, the album cards is all I'm gonna really focus on uh, that said I do have some larger occlusions they're kind of all over the place because I'm not really focusing on getting them but I do have the twice coaster lane two little cutouts uh, standee um, I have the tasting card as well as the uh, little uh, coaster here for Taste of Love. And I also have the coaster for more and more. And then we have a miscellaneous page. This is the little uh, oh frame card that you get for Year of Yes because uh, the Year of Yes cards I have came with an album. Uh, so I have that album and then I got kind of like a mixed batch of cards and this uh, card came with it and that's from BDZ so she lives back here and if I get any other kind of like random cards they're gonna uh, be back here so yeah most of this binder is basically my twice Mina collection um, with a smattering of 2 p.m. and just that little bit of Wonder Girls. So that is the first JYP binder. I really don't want to put any more else in because I know that Twice Mina collection is just going to grow. Um, so this is going to be the other JYP groups that I collect minus Stray Kids because like I said they have their own. So starting off, we have Itzy, 
where I mainly have their larger inclusions. Um, when I get to the actual photo card collection, I'll go ahead and explain what I'm doing with that. But I really love how these pages turned out. Really love this. So larger inclusions. These are the most annoying things ever, but I got them to fit a four pocket. Yay. Um, decided to go ahead and keep the uh, pre-order benefits US exclusive set of all five members. So that's that. And then <laughs> we have what is looking really sad right now, but that is because Itzy has been another group that I have waffled back and forth on whether or not I want to collect, what I want to collect, and only recently have I kind of come to a decision about it. But even then, with everything else I'm collecting, I don't want to actively collect for this group. Even though I've decided that I am just collecting Yuna. Um, so what I've done or decided what I'm going to be doing for this is that it's going to be a bit of uh, a reward <laughs> collection. Uh, and I mean that by um, it's going to be the collection that I will only let myself grow or get something for once I complete something else in another collection or I catch up with the releases for another collection um, that kind of thing so with Stray Kids I've like collected Ordinary so I am good to go for getting another Unicard so and if I like complete those uh, Mina collections that I was talking about, those early ones, then that's like going to be like two more cards that I can pick up or I'll let myself uh, pick up. And yeah, so it's kind of going to be like that where it's going to be a bit of a reward for me to be able to get cards for this collection as I co finish up other collections. Um, but until then, I have this uh, card and I do have some of her larger inclusions uh, like these Polaroids though not really Polaroids <laughs> from what is love or no crazy in love yes crazy in love and I pulled her bookmark so I just have kept it <laughs> so that's part of it. Uh, next group I do actively collect. Um, let me shift this over. So need you, like I said, I'm a big uh, J-pop fan, so definitely was uh, interested in this group uh, when they were just doing the uh, survival program. Um, and I have been uh, keeping up with them uh, for other releases and I have went ahead and decided that I'm going to collect Mina at least all her regular edition cards fully um, for all the releases. So these are the first two sets for their first and second single. Um, and for a while I had decided that what I would do since, you know, I had these 10 pocket pages, it's like, hey, then I can collect like three members because that would be nine and then I'll get like one group like photo. Um, but I hated, really hated how that looked because you can only fit like five across. So no matter what, you know, you're always going to have this really odds collection of three if you tried to fit nine and I just didn't like the way it looked at all um, 
so I gave up on that. Um, and I collect Nina mainly because she is really cheap and very easy to find. Because uh, she's actually tied for my favorite member with uh, Rima. So what I decided to do when, you know, the whole three member thing wasn't going to work and was that I decided that I'll continue collecting uh, Nina, like her, her regular versions completely. But I'd also make sure that I'd pick up at least one version of uh, Rima's uh, cards um, and have that there. So I at least have something of Rima, which makes me happy. Um, and then of course I kept the whole get one group card, which I think works so well because it really kind of uh, separates, I guess, the releases because, you know, you just have to because uh, the group cards are all kind of based off of the album covers. So if you remember what the album look, cover looks like, then you can easily figure out which release is which by just, you know, looking at them and knowing that, you know, they correlate. So really happy about that. Ah. And of course, this is for their album. I love this set for Nina. I don't know why. I guess because I love variety <laughs> so I think this gives like a good amount of variety uh, with her photos there um, that is such a cute Rima photo <laughs> um, and of course the group card which is based off their regular edition cover and with their upcoming uh, single clap clap I'll be able to finish uh, this page and I'm really looking forward to that. That said, that is not the end of uh, my collection for Need You. Um, so like I said, uh, for a while I was thinking of collecting three members and the three members uh, were going to be of course Nina, Rima, and for like the next I guess second favorite because like I said Rima and Nina basically tie uh, for my favorite member of the group uh, for my next favorite it's actually also a tie between Riku and Ryo but uh, I was able to find the Riku cards easier so I decided you know okay I will go ahead and collect her um, but it didn't work out but one thing that's kind of, uh, I guess, uh, remained was the fact that uh, these are pre-order cards. They are uh, transparent cards, which is why they have the white back there. So you can actually see the cards. <laughs> um, but I ended up getting this Remo one in one of the purchases I made as just like a little extra. I looked up you know, what this card was and found out, you know, it was a pre-order benefit. And I figured, you know what, why not just like make a page because these do have like transparent cards for the singles as well. Uh, so that's what I've decided to do. And I know I'm definitely doing this for their first three releases. If they continue it for their next three releases, I probably will because, uh, if they do that, then I will go ahead and switch out Riku with Rio, so that way, you know, I get them both, uh, I guess, represented <laughs> in this collection. But uh, we'll have to see if uh, they continue with these transparent cards. But yeah, it's an incomplete collection right now, um, but hopefully I'll be able to complete it uh, soonish. Uh, but it's also not like the highest priority compared to uh, their release cards. Uh, or I guess their album slash single cards. Those are always be highest priority with this. And <laughs> then we have this page, which does have my top four. Um, and the reason I have this is because I didn't realize how large these were. Um, I thought they were going to be trading card size, but they're not. They're more postcard size. <laughs> so that's why I have this, but I decided to just go ahead and keep them because it is my top four. Um, and I have that page. And then my newest and the last one I'm going through, but definitely not the least, is Nmix. 
And I have the most to add to this as I have completed all of the album cards. So I collect three members for the album cards, or at least the regular editions, which is Lily, uh, Solyon, and Gujin. So I have all of those, which I'm so happy about. And then I have Lily here who I'm collecting the limited and I'm going to be collecting pops for. So there are three more pops that I'm thinking about picking up that will finish up that. And I also need to get the lenticular and the ID uh, for Lily here. And then, yeah, I think I'll consider myself done then because I don't want to get too far into pops because NMIX has so, so many before this first release. Um, I wouldn't mind doing a full page, but uh, I have so much else I need to finish and collect. Um, so I don't think I'm going to bother, even though I would love to. I would love to have a full page of Lily Palms because I love them. <laughs> I totally fell in love because technically, Solyon is my favorite member. Lily is very, very close second, though. Um, she's, she's basically up there. Just the smallest, smallest smidge <laughs> between these two. Um, I just like Yujin, so <laughs> she just kind of stands out for me, which shouldn't be surprising. She is just an amazing performer. Um, but yes, uh, but the thing is, Solyon, she is a popular member, so her stuff is so, so expensive. <laughs> uh, thankfully, though, prices have gone down a bit after uh, the initial kind of like debut rush. Um, and that is something I will recommend that if you're getting to a group that just debuted, maybe wait just a little while for prices to settle because whoever people decide is the breakout popular member is always going to be super overpriced and if you wait a while there's a good chance those prices are gonna drop and settle down uh, which I have been seeing with Solyon um, but even then like I said Lily's such a close second and I just I love her pops. I don't have the one that I just completely and utterly fell in love with. That is going to have to wait until I can get onto Mercari Japan because that is where I see it uh, the most. But uh, definitely, no matter what, I'm getting that one. Um, so yeah, uh, the upcoming Nyokyo order that I'm getting, it's not going to really have anything NMIX. Um, We'll have twice, of course. <laughs> we'll always have twice. Um, so yeah, actually, now that I think about it, this binder is not going to be... Well, no, it'll probably have a Yuna update because, like I said, I completed Stray Kids Ordinary. Um, so that will get me a Yuna card. Or I will be... <laughs> According to my rules, I'll be able to get a unit card. Um, so, yeah. There's not going to be much until I do my Makari Japan order. And I'm not going to do a Makari Japan order until I finish with this Neo Kyo. I'm only ever going to do one of those services one at a time. <laughs> um, though I will be getting stuff off, like, Instagram or eBay or Bakari USA uh, in between then and then if I find something uh, that I feel is well priced. Um, so yeah, that is basically uh, everything I want to go over uh, for these JYP groups. Um, I really need 
to at some point <laughs> update this so all my JYP uh, stuff is in these red binders but that's neither here nor there right now. Uh, that said this is the first one the next one I'll be doing is gonna be just stray kids and uh, then moving on to the rest of my collection uh, slowly after that so thank you so much for watching uh, if you want to see more of course uh, like and subscribe and until next time bye